First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Patty Olinger is an infectious disease analyst, executive director of the Global Biorisk Advisory Council, a division of ISSA. GBAC has been working with businesses across the country on COVID control, also has worked with Major League Baseball, and as we've seen, has had a great deal of success. Patty, good morning. Morning. How are you this morning? Good. So are we overreacting to the Delta variant, or should we all be very cautious right now? We're not overreacting, and we should be cautious. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of people have asked, you know, we got rid of the mask mandate 75 days ago. There was a group, I would say there was a large percentage of infectious disease professionals who would have probably taken at least a little bit of a caution there because yeah. we weren't at herd immunity yet. Right. And so, you know, that's, I think, one of the key um, components is we need to get to herd immunity. And, you know, I, I mean, there are different parts of the country where we're probably pretty close, like in parts of New York. Uh, we're probably pretty close, but we're not there yet. And we're looking at numbers increasing. Correct. And and I'm in Michigan right now and, and we're not we're we're probably like you. We're pretty close. Yeah. But yeah. we're not there yet. And the other thing is that we're a social mobile, you know, society and as you know we have a lot of people coming here for vacations we have a lot of people going you know even to florida for vacation which is one of the reasons why you're seeing you know uh, numbers go up and so as we're moving around (laughs) that virus is moving with us yeah you know what do you uh as schools are going back into uh into session and i know we're going to be looking at uh i'm pretty sure we don't know for sure that our schools will be looking at uh, at mask requirements going into uh, end of the school year, um, and, and who knows where we're going to be in terms of indoor mask uh, mandates. But you have a, a state like Florida where the governor com- comes out to say you cannot make people, and it's the law now. You can't by executive order. You can't make school children wear masks. Um, how do we get this mixed messaging? You've got a political war going on in the middle of this. Yeah, you know, I mean, and that's unfortunate that when, when we do see the, the politics stepping into play. Uh, and, you know, the one thing that I think people get, people like, but yet they get frustrated about at times is that the United States, the way that we, we manage is that we do have our federal government, but then our states have the autonomy to be able to have a lot of independence as well. Yeah, yeah. And this is in one of those situations. So, uh, you know, I mean, as, as numbers, maybe start increasing in some of these locations, you may see some other, you know, rules come into play as well. What do you, uh, what do you predict uh, is going to happen? I mean, over the weekend, the talk was we're going to be in a very difficult place. Probably. um, I I think I saw one member of the, it might've been CDC, whatever. It was a government official saying that by the end of August, uh, his prediction is we're going to have more cases in the country than we had at the peak of the entire pandemic in January? Well, um, I think that, number one, what they're seeing is that the people that are vaccinated at, at least are not getting into that very serious disease. Mm-hmm. Um, those who are unvaccinated are much more vulnerable. and But that's our one of our vulnerable populations right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I try and explain to people is that if you have a thousand people at a meeting and you're going with 50 percent vaccination rate, which is what about the United States on average is, that means that half of them, 500 of those people are unvaccinated. And then if you take that vaccinated group and say, you know, 10 percent, the vaccine didn't work for them for whatever reason, that's another 50 people. That means that at that meeting, 550 are unvaccinated mm. and so we're still i mean it's a it's a math number basically yeah. it's a math game we're still a very vulnerable population and the math game is the more you get the more that get vaccinated the more it actually eradicates the virus so that it's not necessarily at some point it's not really the vaccine that's doing the work it's the fact that the the virus can't find anything to feed on so it's beginning to dissipate 
to the point where it doesn't uh, pose the the threat, right? It's kind of a, it's a whole, it's a, it's like a recipe you're working with. Well, it is a recipe. I think the thing that makes some of us nervous, though, is that when you're vaccinated, you can still become infected, uh, is what they're seeing, and spread the virus. And so what we're trying to do is protect those who are unvaccinated um, by wearing masks right now and, you know, and get people uh, to, you know, go get vaccinated. Yeah. The other thing is that remembering those things that we talked about all this last 18 months, and that was wash your hands, don't touch your face, and then at least clean and sanitize the high touch points uh, in your businesses. It, that it all kind of fits together and helps. All right. Uh, you know, it's, it kind of blows because we thought we were all over this. Um, and that is part of the problem, I think, that we have with the public right now. Oh, the public, that you know, it's that pandemic fatigue. Yeah. We're yeah. done. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> we want this over. <laughs> yeah. All right, Patty, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. All right. You have a great day. You do the same. Thank you.